Oh, that worked out well. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Oh, Hi, everyone. Well, while, while AJ gets this going here, a good afternoon, everyone. Uh, Eric and AJ here with Teal Town USA uh, with breaking news uh, as we come on here. Uh, Vander Keen. There we go. Hi there. Uh, Vander Keen has been suspended. 21 games. 21 games uh, by the National Hockey League uh, due to uh, COVID uh, related issues, we'll say. Um, you know, uh, we welcome those of you joining us here on the live stream. Uh, so if you want to be a part of this, uh, go ahead and hit us up in the live chat right now as we speak. Uh, you know, it, it's. Uh, you know, the press release that you just sent me, what, not even 20 minutes ago, AJ? Um, read it verbatim. The National Hockey League announced today that the San Jose Sharks forward Evander Keane has been suspended 21 games uh, without pay for an established violation of and lack of compliance with the NHL NHLPA COVID-19 protocol. Under the terms of the collective bargaining agreement, the forfeited pay goes to the Players' Emergency Assistance Fund. Kane will not be eligible to play prior to San Jose's game on November 30th in uh, New Jersey. Um, they also uh, came on and said the National Hockey League announced today that its concurrent investigation into allegations of domestic abuse made against Kane by his estranged wife, Deanna, could not be substantiated. Uh, there will be no further comp uh, comment on that matter. Mm. So... Hmm. hmm. Oh, there we go. Hi. There he is. We're we're getting there. We're getting there. This is what <laughs> happens when you when you have the late breaking news. Yes. When news breaks, uh, AJ's fixing it. <laughs> well, yikes. Yeah. There we go. Uh. So AJ, uh, good to have you uh, with us. Uh, what says you about this whole uh situation? Well, uh, first off, uh, the thing that jumped out to me is the allegations by Deanna quote Anna Kane uh unsubstantiated so far we have yet to see proof of anything that she said um that's that to me is it's kind of a flag uh you know it's like accused him of gambling they found nothing for that accused him of domestic violence found no you know evidence or or i shouldn't i shouldn't say that it's not that they haven't found out of it's unsubstantiated claims so far um so that that kind of jumps out um the other thing though that gets me is let's go let's go back now to to what it said which was um without pay established violation of and lack of compliance with the NHL, NHLPA COVID-19 protocol. There's nothing in there. I mean, the, talk about s saying as little as possible. Um, there was nothing in there that said anything about a fake vax card. No confirmation, no denial. Yet, wasn't that mentioned in several of the reports that he had turned in a fake vaccination status? Right. It was... There was that he had turned in a fake vaccination card. He hadn't followed any of the <laughs> of the forms for for that matter. I mean, that's that's the concern is that we're not getting the logistics of the details of this here. Um, now, whether or not that's our business, I, mean, I I guess not. Just laying it out dry as to what that he suspended for it. Um, but twenty one games. That's you know good quarter of the season here and granted the sharks have only played one game i i'm not gonna lie I, th at the, I thought minimum should have been half the season um i mean if i just want to know about the fake vaccine card because people are being arrested you know jailed fined uh and, and you know <laughs> it's considered a felony if i'm not mistaken correct uh i'd have to look into that i think you may be correct but either way, uh, just the fact that there was no confirmation or denial, you know, usually that t that tends to lend to that, yeah, it was true. They just don't want to admit to it. 
I mean, just in my experience of seeing thing press releases like that worded like that, it's typically what I found to be the case. I'm not saying it is here, but uh, it just seems rather odd not to issue a confirmation or denial. But then again, if they issue a confirmation, you're going to have a whole bunch of people going, wait a minute, people are being jailed, people are being fined, what's up? But the yeah. fact that there was no denial or they said, you know, we could not find proof of a fake vaccination card. Now this goes to the sharks. Wouldn't they have something on file? That's that's I don't understand why this has taken so long. Like it, this sounds like something it should have you should have been able to figure out in an afternoon <laughs> as to whether the card submitted was real or fake, but it is what it is now and so the sharks have a week or a month and a half to figure out what the hell they're going to do. And for 21 games, you're 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 sitting out through a quarter of the season, and for that matter, you know, they didn't look too bad on Saturday night uh, for, op- for opening night. Didn't look right. like they were missing much offense in there. Um, we have uh, Pierre LeBron now tweeting that it is his understanding that Evander Kane will not appeal the suspension. Uh, I, which again, for me, I think it's just kind of like, yeah, sit there and shut up. You know, stay off social media. Don't be a bother. But go ahead. And that, and that's the thing is that you know, he was very. Uh, I don't want to say outspoken, but he definitely was showing things off on his on his uh, social media after all the allegations and everything was going on. He's calmed down a little bit now. You know, within the last month or so, but uh, you know, it, it's it's interesting to see how this has taken place over the the off season and in a training camp and in, we had, and into the first. We have Go more. Ahead. I'm sorry. We have more. Kane Go has ahead. just released a statement. I would like to apologize to my teammates, the San Jose Sharks organization, and all Sharks fans for violating the NHL COVID protocols. I made a mistake, one I sincerely regret and take responsibility for. During my suspension, I will continue to participate in counseling to help me make better decisions in the future. When my suspension is over, I plan to return to the ice with great effort, determination, and love for the game of hockey. Um, <laughs> whether that's with the San Jose Sharks remains to be seen. But that begs the next question, AJ, is when his, when his, con- or his suspension is up, what happens? Because I mean, you're you're basically I mean, if you're going to attempt. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate it. Bro. Thanks, Chris. Thanks for that. Always love you. <laughs> but my my thing is, do they want him? We've heard all about the the teammates in the locker room and everything. We've heard that from multiple sources. Well, they've got twenty games to get it together. That's you know, you've got twenty games. You got this five game road trip starting, then you got five at home, then you got five away, and then four at home. So, I mean, up until, and then you begin another road trip. How awkward would that be if it's like, well, we're going to continue, uh, or I mean, we're, we're going to allow Kane back because we don't have any legal recourse not to, at least, you know, or we haven't had our lawyers dig deep enough. But uh, just odd to also join on the road. That's That would be. Kind of odd, but you got five away, five at home, five away, four at home. Uh, what if the Sharks, after 21 games, are, I don't know, 13 in, you know, <laughs> 13, seven, and one? Yeah. Or, I mean, if they're, if they're at a point where it's like, hey, we're, we're looking pretty good right now. I mean, right. if the, now conversely, what if the Sharks are seven, 13, and one? You know, and not even not even the twenty one part. But remember, they have nine games to make up their mind on William Eklund. Oh, Jesus Christ! Yeah. So what That's, happens if Eklund is, starts ripping it up? Yeah, I mean it's it's kind of a toss up in that one, but uh, as to whether or not they're going to do a move. So, well, it is what it is right now. Um, that, those are the statements. I mean, that's that's what came out of the NHL, their official word. <clears throat> we'll right. throw it up for you one more time for those joining late. NHL announced today the Sharks forward Evander Kane suspended 21 games without pay for violating the COVID protocol. 
Um, he's not eligible uh, eligible to play before San Jose's game at New Jersey on November 30th. Uh, and then, again, getting back to the allegations made by his estranged wife, those have yet to be substantiated. Uh, but that uh, is, is where we're at. I don't know that uh, we're... G- Let's see if there's a statement that comes from the San Jose Sharks. And and that's probably what we're waiting for next as to what comes on. Yeah, uh, but we're also talking about, you know, the the weird thing about opening night being that there was zero mention of him in the uh, pregame opening where they, you know, they projected Barabanov out there, VL, you know, guys that were not – in the lineup, whether you know, Kinejov, whether they're on the IR or healthy scratch or whatever, uh, Kane was the new, the new guy that we got from waivers off of Vancouver. They mentioned him. Oh, <laughs> what's his name? Yona, Jonah uh, Gustav, Gadonovich. <laughs> there you go. So, I mean, yeah, they mentioned him, but no mention of Kane yet. His jerseys, plenty of them for sale in the Shark store. Uh, <laughs> But I'm I'm surprised they weren't on sale. To be honest with you, I don't see a whole lot of clamoring or demand for that. But there we go. Will the Sharks make mention of it? I mean, if opening night is any indicator, no, they're just going to let this lie and say the NHL suspended them. We're abiding by it, but they've got six weeks essentially to make a decision. Less yeah. than less than six weeks, but yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, six weeks for his 21 games. But like I said, also with. With Eklund, might be a little bit more. Uh, I, I, have you gotten anything from the Sharks yet, Ben? Nope. I haven't nope. seen anything just yet. So I, I don't think we see uh, something from the Sharks at this point. But uh, boy, how fast did Evander King get that message out? That was quick. Yeah, <laughs> that that I thought was a little like hmm. But um, like, again, I I just I would love to know. Was there a fake Vax card or not? And I and I'm afraid that we're never going to know one way or the other, because it, again, if there was no evidence of a fake Vax card, why not put that out there? That's my or point. or or kind or kind of explain why he's getting suspended if it isn't. I and mean, we can always assume, but well, it you know then it's probably a case of you know he he didn't maintain a bubble or he you know he went to something that he shouldn't have gone to you know the thing that makes me nervous is uh, what guy from the jets just went on the covid protocol yeah Blake Wheeler the jets captain yeah. yeah so it's like hmm but look with uh Kane I just maybe you know went to a concert went to a who knows what he went to well I mean we we did see that he he did take Kensington to Disneyland on on his Instagram. I'm going to bet though that I would this th- I would is think from that last would be season. Okay, though. I'm going to bet that this whatever this is this is from last season. Um yeah. you know that's when all the guys were upset where it was showing up late or not you know not adhering to codes whatever. So look they they've look eight more games with William Eklund. Decision has to be made there. If he's lighting it up, if the team is playing well, I mean, look, you're going to a Montreal team that is just in the crapper right now, especially without Carey Price. And you go to Ottawa, that that could be an interesting game. You know, the, the, you would be a good game. Yeah, you'd hope to be a good game. You've got Carlson coming back, probably wants to prove a point. Then you probably have. Balsers wants to say, you know, oh, big time. <laughs> he wants to prove a point. Josh Norris maybe wants to prove something. Maybe Stutzla wants to prove something. So the Ottawa game could be interesting. But then Toronto, Toronto could the be a buzzsaw. Day. And then Boston at 10 a.m., which of course the Sharks are notorious for being an amazing hockey team early in the morning. <laughs> uh, so look that you know let's see how this road trip shakes out if they come back you know three and two or or you know a 500 or better record i think you you take that as a win right now but what what if they go four and one you know yeah at that point i just i i don't know the we're gonna see the next 20 games i think is eckland like you mentioned uh but boy those those next 20 games 
Sharks are going to have to make a decision here, but I just are you, do you pay him to sit for 4 years? Yeah. I mean, uh, how do you sell that? How do you explain that? How do you, I mean, there's you have there's no way that you can get somebody to to pick him up. And if you do, it's going to be for the only way you're pennies. getting a team to take pennies. Kane is if you give them Eklund too. Yeah. <laughs> and, and we all know that ain't happening. Yeah. Um, you know, and that's the tough part. Uh, should we look at some of these comments in the chat really quick? Oh, what do you got? Uh, uh, you know, there, uh, PJ's like saying, make the decision on Eklund now, but once he starts playing some traditional West rivals, the, the Sharks are going to have to protect him more or it'll end bad. Uh in regards to that, there was another oh. one I saw earlier on there, I think, from Kenny. Um, a CFL uh, suspended a player from uh, the Edmonton Elks for the entire season for the same thing. It should be that long for Kane. That's that's where I was at. I was, you know, well, I mean, I said half season minimum. I was hoping it was going to be for an entire season. I mean, if you want to. But look, I'm not going to say this was like, you know, Department of Player Safety. I mean, 21 games does seem rather arbitrary. Like, why 21, not 20? <laughs> you know, like, why not 40? Why not 41? Why not 82? Uh, if you, you know, the the penalty has to be significant enough that the player goes, I'm not doing that because I am not willing to pay that price. Uh, but as we've come to find, uh, there's... Kane likes to gamble. Yeah, and he's he's discussed that with Linda Cohen on ESPN that he is stopped and uh, moving onward. Uh, we we can only hope that uh, he has um, well, Chris, gotten the assistance. Chris w- nailed it. Hey, sixty nine, nice. That would have been a nice amount of games for a suspension. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's. It's interesting to see what's going to happen here. I mean, it, now that we finally have everything pretty much sh- shut down, you know, everything is done. Now we know. Do we need know? a uh, Do we need a new banner in the tank that says Rafi Torres still suspension leader? <laughs> I mean, that's that's still the longest suspension in in Sharks history. So <laughs> let's hit some more comments here. Sure. Uh, Dana, cut the losses, literally just pay him not to play. There is zero reason to bring him back. Even if the Sharks are mediocre, he would just make them worse. I, 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 I gotta say, I, I'm, 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 I'm team Dana on this one, uh, right now. Uh, WGAS, what's the probability of the Sharks terminating con- Kane's contract based on all that has happened? Well, it's from what I understand it, and Ian would be the one to really dive into it, but the, you know, right. the NHLPA has... You know that I think there'd be a lot of players that while while none of the teammates seem to be coming out in his defense whatsoever, I think overall, if there was some way that the Sharks would try to uh, set a precedent, then you'd start seeing some players around the league probably defending him, saying, "No, no, you can't do that." There, and and it's a double edged sword too, because I mean, you you have players such as Tyler Pertuzzi who lit it up for the Red Wings the other night. Um, who aren't going to get the vaccine? I like and I like Anthony's ahead. comment here. Can the Sharks force Kane to seek mental help and place him on LTIR after a 21 game suspension? I don't know that he needs mental help. I think if anything, like substance abuse, because gambling is considered a substance. But and, evidently, from what he's saying, he's been seeking treatment for that. Yeah, and he he did say in his comment that came up via the NHLPA, I will continue to participate in counseling to help me make better decisions in the future. So, there you go. Uh, and then yeah, another comment here: player assistance program for gambling addiction wouldn't be a bad route to deal with this contract. Uh, yeah, and if the Sharks can make that happen, again, I think if the Sharks, if they see something over like these, you know, up until. They have to make that decision on Eklund whether they want to burn a year of his contract or not. That's that's probably going to be around that time where it's like, okay, Eklund's doing really good. I just don't see a reason to send this kid down. Uh, it's worth burning a year of this contract the way that this is all going. But 
how how would the Sharks be able to bring them back if the team is playing well, is doing well? Like, I'll take a loss if you, you know, see positive things happening. Like you see, like uh, with opening night, you see that quirky bounce between Hill and Carlson that led to a goal against. And had that been the goal that made the Sharks lose, I I could sit there and take all the other positives away and say, you know what, that's something that you're that that's a fluke. You're not going to see that happen. Oh, you know, that's probably the only time you see that happen this season. So the fact that they were down two nothing, gave up a shorty, and at that point, I'm sure most Sharks were sitting there going, oh shit, here we go. Here we again. go. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what I was saying in the stands on Saturday. Yeah, and then they get a shorty back, and you're like. But, you know, it was, uh, it's that, what is it? The meme or the video where it, the girl, I think she tastes something. She's just like, mm, and then, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> you know, no, it, it was very much I that meme, that. very much that meme on Saturday night. So if they continue, if, you know, if they can, cont- you look at all the smiles at practice today uh, as they're getting on the plane. Like, I don't know if that was just a, bad juju around the team. I don't know if Kane was just a, a, a dark cloud, but if he was, and all of a sudden you've got this team focused and they're playing the right way, uh, the the culture has returned, they're upbeat. How, I mean, you'd be an idiot to bring Kane back. Yeah, I mean, you, you look at it, they brought in Cogliano and, and Benito for a couple reasons. One, to give them time on the PK the the second six of lines to have uh to make sure like the guys like couture and hurdle are focused more on the offense while they focus on the defense with the penalty kill and look what it contributed to cogliano hey nice wheels for a 15-year vet scores a shorthanded goal and yeah maybe their leadership might also be helping them out a little bit too i mean look i don't know if you saw the end of the game where the, or they're or they're like really ecstatically celebrating uh, the victory with Aiden Hill. I mean, yeah, that's the that, like we finally have a fucking goaltender. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, Denver asking, is there a possibility of a negotiated buyout? I would love that. I would absolutely love that. Uh, yeah, yeah. But uh, as far as I know, you know that it, you can have that buyout. But what? It's still you, you want to have him on your books for eight years or no, I'm sorry, six years, six years. You want to have them on your books for six more years along with Jones? Like, and that my friend is the issue. Uh, I don't, I mean, look, look, look at, look at what Minnesota has with Suter and Parisi. I just, I don't think a typical buyout is something that we'll see happen, but you know, if the, if you know, if you're Plotner, if you're if you're the front office, you you have your lawyers working diligently saying, "Get me out of the." You know, the, if anything, to paraphrase, <laughs> trade him right fucking now. <laughs> oh, and the Sharks have just put out a statement. No kidding. Uh, uh, the let's... NHL has advised our organization that Evander Kane has been suspended without pay for 21 games for an established violation of and lack of compliance with the NHL. NHLPA COVID-19 protocols. Oh, oh, but goddamn. Wait a minute. The Sharks are actually like throwing some shit here. Wait a minute. Yes. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. That's it. That's oh, 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 as we say, oh, as, hold on, as we say on the show, and whip it out. Oh, what? man. No, hold on. Let's, let's get this going here. Oh, man. I can't, I, it yeah. Oh, man. It, this, I, I can't this believe is, they went this far, to be honest with you. Let's get this in here. Come on. Come on, you little bitch. That's how I talk to my kids. Thank, thank you, basis. thank you, Eric Carlson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice statement, you fucking bitch. <laughs> so whip it out. All right. So we obviously we had the um whoa, let's not talk hey, about James and we got this fun tweet, which I just love, <laughs> by the way. Uh, whoa, whoa, that's a little teaser for the pucknologist this week. <laughs> so that was the original one, yay. So there we go. Yeah. So while we are encouraged by Evander's commitment to moving forward, 
We are extremely disappointed by his disregard for the health and safety protocols put in place by the league and PA. We will not be commenting further on Evander's status prior to the conclusion of the suspension. Oh. That's a very strong words from an organization that usually doesn't go negative with their with their comments right away. Are you kidding me? The Pollyanna stuff? No, I mean you should, I mean we've never really seen any of this. So obviously the organization is upset with uh Evander's um quote unquote disregard for the health um and and man, uh, so what happens when November, I mean, can't wait for Thanksgiving now for the, in that sense too, AJ. Oh boy! And, and considering everything that's gone on since July thirty first, um, I I wonder if there's a morals uh, issue that they might be talking about. Like that's uh, what I'm saying, man. Those lawyers are digging away, going there. There has to be like you know conduct detrimental to the league or you know there's there has to be some stuff in there that they're going to try to figure out a way that they can do this yet not have to deal with the NHLPA pushing back on a on some sort of precedent setting yeah that that's um that is very very interesting yeah and usually you see and I I have to apologize because usually, you know, we, we came on really quickly. I was just like, I usually try to dress, cover the screen back here. Hold on. <laughs> oh, he's got to make sure he shows off his, his oh, uh, custom practice jersey. Love to see just, it. Which is very crisp. Let's just put that over there. <laughs> oh. oh, man. All right. So... So basically, to recap, Evander Kane has been suspended by the NHL for 21 games due to violations with the COVID protocols. Uh, they say he will return uh, November 30th, uh, or his <laughs> first game of eligibility to return, I should preface, November 30th in New Jersey. Yeah. Uh, and the Sharks have uh, said they are very disappointed <laughs> in the decisions of his health. Uh, so this, while while this kind of closes the book on on pretty much all the investigations, it doesn't close how <laughs> what could be next for Vander Kane. Well, the other thing that we have to take into account is you know the Sharks, the you know the the front office, the the franchise, whatever you want. They won't be commenting further. You can bet your ass that players are going to be asked about this tomorrow. Uh, for media, and, you know, and he, they'll dodge it around, especially going into uh, one of the hockey meccas, or well, three major hockey meccas: Montreal, Ottawa, and Toronto. Um, <laughs> yeah, don't, the guys don't are going. God damn it, we couldn't have gone to like Florida or something. <laughs> yeah, this is yeah, this is going to be a hot button issue. Um, so let let's see how they uh, respond to the the questions tomorrow, and uh, see how much they evade it because I think. Some of you know, this is just my take on you know mentions and body language. Like you heard Ferraro kind of go, well, you know, well, you know, he's a teammate, and you know, and and if he comes back, we'll welcome him back. And like just kind of empty platitudes, no endorsement, no real support there, no like you know, I I don't remember hearing anybody go. I look forward to his return. I don't remember that. It was just like, if he comes back, we'll welcome him. You know. Mm. And and there and there is a, there has been some decent turnover in the organization in, in on the team too. So, mm. you know, you have you have <sighs> Hold on. three kids, two veterans, and two new goaltenders. What's this from Brandon? Did they alter the contracts to include pro- COVID protocols? If not, his contract cannot be terminated. Uh, that is something that jerk we're going to talk about on the Pucknologist this Sunday because, uh, jerk did do a little diving into the, uh, you know, those, the NHLPA docs and there was some, uh, some stuff put in about COVID again, that's, that's jerks thing. We're going to dive into that on Sunday, but yes, there's something in there about it. I don't have all the details right now, but 
Hockey at underscore jerk. I guarantee you he, he's probably going to put something in there. Probably people are going to be hitting him up about that. Yeah. Um, but your other question, who cares if he faked a card? It's, it's, dude, people are being arrested. Like, the, you know, the law cares. Well, <laughs> remember, like, one example, the Moderna lady in Hawaii got arrested and is facing felony charges. Yeah. So... This is this is still can be an ongoing story going on. And honestly, I mean, if if there isn't something going on with a fake card, um, you know, there could be some other things that could be coming up for Mr. Kane. Well, what's what's the thing here from Dylan? Um, using this as a way to terminate his contract will also make the Sharks organization look bad because this guy has serious issues and needs professional help. The NHL won't like that precedent. Um, I don't think it does make the Sharks look bad. I mean, if he's getting, it, it's not, the Sharks didn't make him gamble. The Sharks didn't make him break COVID protocol. Yeah. So. And, and, and he did it on his own. Yeah. Like own, um, own your choices. And, and I don't necessarily think it's specifically COVID. I think it's specifically, uh, the standards and practices and, you know, the, uh, the in regards, I think it would the pie would work into morals uh, clause of the contract. That's yeah, that's what I'm interested in. I mean, but when it comes to bad choices, look, I can say it right now. This last weekend, I made a bad choice. I should have went to the home opener instead. <laughs> I I went out of town and it didn't didn't work out as well as I had hoped. It was all right, but I, if I had to make that decision again, I would have gone to the opener. But Again, I, but I own that decision. Nobody made it for me. We, we all make mistakes, and you know, <laughs> sometimes they get it. You know, Ooh. sometimes I, I mine get messed up. Evader Kane. Wow. Yikes! I'm not going to lie. I kind of like that. <laughs> yeah, and, and Chris mentioning it too. If the Sharks dropped him without ever trying to help, maybe. But they've been trying to work with him and his issues for years. Yeah. I mean, uh, dude, they signed him. It was a reclamation project. It's like you had to know the history between Atlanta, Winnipeg, and Buffalo. I mean, you've got a picture of a, of his teammate flipping him off for Christ's sakes. <laughs> and, and, and for that matter, I mean, up until the beginning of the COVID season of 2021, you know, I mean, we haven't heard a peep. Uh, from Evander, I mean, and things looked pretty solid. Yeah, we heard about the the gambling, um, the gambling bill he had, mm -hmm. uh, like in April during the Vegas series. But other than that, we hadn't heard much uh, in regards to that. And then well, we heard the bankruptcy, and then and, and then the trickle down uh, over the the last. Well, uh, Eight it, months or so. It was. It just seemed to be a, an, an an overarching theme where it was kind of like you heard the thing about being sued by a casino for unpaid tabs. You've got Vegas fans, you know, chanting "Pay your tab, uh, pay your bills, pay whatever it was." Then the bankruptcy thing happens, but right. and then uh, again the the um, um substantiated allegations from his estranged wife. But again, I'm just all the things that she hurled at him. It's it's it, look, I'm not going to sit there and, and pass judgment. She said what she said. The fact that there's zero evidence to to back it up. I'm not going to say she's lying, but I'm I'm not also going to sit there and say she's 100 telling the truth either. You know, it, as in most things, the truth probably lies somewhere in the middle. That said, yeah. n no proof has been you know, brought out publicly as at this point. But and, and let's let's play devil advocate here, AJ. What if they are bringing him back? Um, if you they, know, what uh, if Evander comes back? What if they bring this, him? Yeah, if <laughs> fucking hurdle trade I, me right fucking. <laughs> I, yeah, I mean that that's the thing is that what what can they do? Yes, they can buy him out, but. Um, if they're obligated to have them with the team, what if they bring them back and then they lose like three straight, you know? Yeah. 
What is it? After, I mean, after like winning the previous three, you know, then they bring him back and all of a sudden they lose three straight. You're going to tell me that this fan base wouldn't, you know, lose their shit. And to take that to a, a, another level, remember, he, he is available, or I should say, you know, his suspension is over that the next, the first game he can come back on is the 30th at New Jersey. I'm telling you right now, I'm, as soon as we're done with this, I'm buying tickets for Tuesday, December 7th, which is the first home game that he would be eligible to play just because I want to be there in case he is in the lineup just to hear the reaction from the crowd. Yeah, I can't yeah. imagine it's going to be good. Or, or it could, you know, that's the thing. He does have his supporters. You look at social media and they sit there and go, oh, you know, Anna's lying or, or you know, the, he's... Kane is catching all of this because of whatever reason, blah, 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 blah. You, you, you see the, the two sides, you know, the two factions, the defenders, the people that just want to burn him at the stake, and I get it. I'd just be interested to see how it would apply itself in a game situation when yeah. they bring out, you know, when, when the guys skate out, when they make the announcements. I can guarantee you right now, if Kane was back in the lineup, uh, he, he certainly is not going to be announced as a uh, on the starting line. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, yeah. I mean uh, that that's for sure. I mean they don't want to put that under under my grip. It's kind of like the reversal of what Brendan Dillon got Saturday night in the home opener when they announced his lineup in being in the starting lineup. Place went you know bonkers, of and course. then then he tried to proceed to take out. A Brendan or take out Tomas Hurdle. Well, maybe After... Hurdle wouldn't let him stay the night. I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe, uh, maybe his, maybe little, little, little baby Hurdle, maybe, uh, you know, left a little present for him. You know, you, you never know. Maybe, maybe baby Hurdle popped the leak when Dylan was holding him. You don't know. You know, I, more than anything, I would, I just want Hurdle to be a comedian once he retires. I mean, because the the comment that he made about that is like, yeah, he stayed at my house. I don't know what I did to him. Yeah, but and I'm going to see on... his ass in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see here. Faulty Synapse says, standards clauses can include things down to dress codes. I'm sure breaking of the law can be included. That's a great point. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they can literally find guys or have some sort of supplemental discipline if they, you know, don't wear a tie for Christ's sakes, you know, and I like seeing that uh, evidently the Toronto Maple Leafs are starting to relax their dress code a little bit, mm -hmm. like business casual, or if you see what Austin Matthews is wearing, uh, fashion victim casual. I don't know. I, that guy is, he's, he's weird. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Anthony. If the players welcome came back, then the San Jose fans should follow and support him. Um, I mean, you can't tell other fans how to fan. You know, there, it, there are going to be people that, despite there being no evidence brought forward, there are going to be people that believe he uh, committed do domestic violence. Whether there was evidence or not, the allegations are enough for some people. So... They're going, there's going to be that group. There's going to be, isn't he still like in some sort of legal issues with a woman back in Buffalo and paying for abortions and there's, something along those lines? There are some rumblings that that's the case, um, in regards to that. Uh, I, am not one to, uh, to confirm that. Per se, I, I'm I am not Pierre LeBrun, nor do I play him on YouTube. But uh, I mean, there there's a lot of issues that have that have been in his past, and that continuously to come back to back to haunt him. Um, and honestly, for more than anything, we hope he gets the help that he that he needs. Uh, now, no matter what, I mean, that's the thing. And I would think the Sharks would be helping him on this. So. Uh, what's Deuce's shoeless saying? Uh, until the Sharks have a locker room guy that will call him on his bullshit and isolate him when he gets with the until he gets with the program, he'll be nothing but an issue for the team. Um, it does make you wonder, like, uh, you know, like why are players crying to the front office or you know 
whatever saying, I don't want to play with, instead of like holding him accountable, you know, why, why aren't they throwing his track suit in the shower? <laughs> you know, <laughs> saying, so, why aren't they sending a message, if you will? Who yeah. knows? Uh, you know, that it's, you're going to tell me that there aren't guys on this team, like a Vlasic, a Burns, a Couture, a Carlson right. that could step up, you know? Yeah. Like you can't, you know, at some point you have to take the range. You can't do, well, Joe Thornton left, so fuck, don't know what to do. You know, yeah, Marlowe's not here. I don't know. Yeah. And, and that's where the leadership group of this team needs to step up. Uh, whether it's, you know, front office, whether it's the coaching staff, whether it's a player that has a letter on, on, on their sweater or not, like in the case of Vlasic. Um, you know, we need to make sure that it gets addressed and they go forward and they have to, they can't go back and forth. You either have to help them out or not. Yeah. Um, shoe shine saying huge Evander Kane fan. Um, I was suspect about the DV allegations because of the timing of them, but the vaccine card shit makes me done with him. I can't support someone who does that. See, and that, and that, that's your opinion per, and perfectly fine and legitimate right. to have, you know, that if we all agreed on the same thing, life would be really boring. <laughs> so again, there's going to be people that, that are with, a, that are ride or die. And they're going to be people that go, uh, you know, from my opinion, I, I just sit there and go, look, this team seemed to have had a really good camp. <laughs> They won the, they, they had a good home opener where they, you know, down to nothing, were able to fight and come back and look like they were playing for each other again, look like they were having a good time. If, you know, if Kane's absence was a huge contributor of that, then I think that absence needs to continue. Yeah. And there have been a number of you know, <laughs> things. I remember the great point. Uh, Do we want Kane around Eklund? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me let me paraphrase myself from a from a video that I did a long time ago. Oh hell no, no. Let him. Don't want I I will be more than happy to to hang with Eklund at IKEA. There Love me go. some Swedish meatballs. Yeah, he can just lay there like a French girl, and you feed him the <laughs> Swedish meatball. Um, this is this is an interesting one from PJ. Uh, how would you compare this to the previous locker room issues with Nolan? Uh, that rumor out of St. Louis and Danny Heatley with Heatley. I mean, that was, I mean, the big one was from Atlanta with everything that went down with that car accident and his teammate passed away. I mean, that was tough to go through and you felt for him and, and he eventually needed a new start in, in Ottawa. Yeah. But didn't, I mean, didn't chief come here? Like, didn't he have like a hat trick on his first game here? Uh, first yeah, his home game? first, first home game. He, uh, Heatley had a hat trick. Yeah, uh, but uh, yeah, you know, and there was the whole burger line, jumbo heated patty, and it was—I mean, they—they yeah. they tried. I—I I was never like the biggest Heatley fan. I'd, I'd be honest with you, I wasn't that thrilled with with picking him up. Um, the Nolan stuff, I never believed. That you know, there were people that said he was a cancer. Honestly, to me, I think you know, in most of the stuff that we've seen with Nolan, I think he's demanding. That if he's giving 100% and he doesn't think you are, he's going to let you know. Right. And if you have a problem with hearing about it, then you're going to, you know, you're going to sit there and go, oh, he's, you know, and I know, I get it. Some people, they, you need to talk to some people differently in different ways in order to get the best out of them. And maybe Nolan was very much like, hey, get off your ass and do something. But, right, you know, the, you've seen some of the things that Joe Thornton has said. I mean, did you hear what he said to Tori Mitchell? Like, you know, you're stinking up the <laughs> fucking place out there. Go up and do something, you know, and kind of called him out. And instead, what was it? It was like, well, Joe tells you to do it. You got to do it. So, <laughs> you know, different guys are different. Uh, yeah, I don't I didn't believe the the Nolan shit. And, you know, it's like, did he ever did he have any problems in Quebec, Colorado, you know, Toronto? Arizona, Calgary, fuck, Minnesota. where else did this guy play? Yeah, Minnesota. Like, you never heard any of that shit from anywhere else. So that's why I, I also kind of go, yeah, I think the Nolan stuff was probably something blown out of proportion, whereas it seems like every time Kane is in it, it, it you know, it follows him. You know, it's like, remember, you know that uh, character from Peanuts? 
who like never bathed or something like there's just oh, that, pen. yeah it's just that cloud that follows him no matter where he goes that almost feels like how Kane is where it's just kind of like I can't get rid of this you know right it's uh, and I wish he would you know I I, I I think more than anything just get into uh, getting that additional health and and again I think it's good to have the sharks if they can help him up. Because I think that'd be very vital. And, and for that matter, if there are other things that we don't know about that are going on, and again, that's privy to if it comes out or not, um, you hope that there's a lot of things that can be um, remedied. And not just with him, but his whole family. And it's, you know, you see Jared here. It, it could mess up the chemistry uh, that we're seeing, the positive, I'm assuming he means. Uh, and that's my fear. If he came back, yeah, I, I, I share it. So, again, let <clears throat> to sum it all up, 21 games. Uh, the Sharks basically have until November 30th to make a decision on what they're going to do with the guy. They have eight more games, a decision on what they're going to do with William Eklund. So, look, uh, there are a lot of people, um, I don't know, a few months ago that were just going to go, they were just so kind of like, oh, man, Sharks, this, this is just going to suck. You know, it's like they're projected to finish bottom line. I don't think they're going to make the playoffs. It's, it's like, it got fucking worth watching now, didn't it, people? It's exciting now. <laughs> like, what's going to happen they- with Will Eklund? What's going to happen with Kane? What's going to – I mean, Kanijov is having surgery. He's going to be out for – he's going to be missing like a couple months. So, like, there's uh, – the young guys are going to get a look. And then what happens when Barabanov comes back? What happens if we see VL? I mean, there, there's a lot of interesting things here. They might not make the playoffs, but it's going to be interesting to watch. It's not going to be boring. Yeah, no, and that was exactly what Randy uh, mentioned. Uh, Mr. Randy <laughs> Hahn mentioned as as they were puck, dropping the puck on the season. This is going to be one of the most interesting – Seasons in team history. And Chris, yeah, I mean, are you not entertained? Come on. That's what I'm saying. It's it's going to be fun. We'll be here for the entire ride. And, uh, you know, ups and downs, twists and churns. Oh, Jesus Christ. Really? Has Teal Town bestowed a nickname on Eklund yet? Gecko is kind of meh. I've heard Geckland. I've heard Gecko. And it's just like, um, how about just like we just call him, you know, William for now? You know? Hey. I oh, mean, you know what? If, if if he starts potting goals, right? Uh, I think we need to maybe borrow something from the Fresh Prince, maybe Big Willie style. <laughs> you know, I like that one. So, uh... yeah, if he starts potting it left and right, you know, if he starts getting jiggy with it, Big Willie style, all in it. Yeah. Christ, I sound old. I'm old. Okay, uh, when did that come out? Like twenty years ago? Sure. All right. Sure. So with that, um, yeah, final uh, official statement once again. Uh, the Sharks say they are encouraged by Evander's commitment to moving forward. Extremely disappointed with his disregard for the health and safety protocols. So no further comment at this time. However, I highly recommend that uh, you keep an eye out on Kurz and Pashelka. I believe Shang is traveling uh, with the team as well. So keep an eye out for the uh, beat writers tomorrow. Probably be a little earlier since they're out east, but keep an eye on their Twitters because these guys are going to ask. I would also recommend that maybe you uh, look up some of the Montreal beat writers because I can guarantee you they're going to be asking them about it too. Yeah. You know, it's they're going to keep getting bugged about it. I mean, come on. Well, prime example. Hey, AJ, um, Mr. Carlson, the time is nigh. Bye bye. (laughs) (laughs) So, okay, see you later, guys. (laughs) Hold on, what's this? I always like jersey questions. Anyone know where to get the blank retro jersey customized with numbers and name? Um, I know where to get it customized. I don't know. uh, Can you even find any blank ones anymore? Uh, You might want to check with the shark store at the Shark Tank. I think I saw some. Uh, over there but if you're if you're looking for a player name they have some already uh so gotta have a good amount by the way but and again this will be brought up on the pucknologist but uh if you're gonna go buy a jersey from the shark store that has a name and number on it that you already want take note on particular players because like brent burns i believe of 
uh, Kane, Kane and I believe Carlson. Sure. But yeah, and Couture on the reverse retros, uh, you can you feel the number on the back, and it's it's vinyl. It's not tackle twill. It's it's kind of it's not good. And you can see like the light hits it and it makes it kind of shiny. It, 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 it very it's, cheap looking. Yeah, there there's it a, is. <laughs> to show off the kitty. I mean, well, let's end on a good. Uh, note. It's, uh, he's old man. He just wants to lay down. Okay. But right. uh, the but if you want customization. Uh, yeah, you can do it right there at the shark store. There you go. And it's from, it's, I mean, you, you've had a lot of your stuff done through what we call home girl because she has been on it for a number of jerseys for both of us. Uh, you know, yeah. Oh, see, that's the whole thing. <laughs> Deuces. Love that they stopped for a jersey question. Primarily. <laughs> Dude, I talk jerseys that's all us. day. All day. All day long. Yeah. I just dropped off 11. 11 oh, to be stitched. So I don't know when I'm going to get those back if I'm lucky in a month. But uh, when I do, I'll have to put, I'll have to do a show just on the jerseys. But anyway, all right, that's it. Wrap it up. Uh, barring some other unforeseen event, uh, we'll see you following Montreal and uh, San Jose tomorrow. And that is a four o'clock local start, which means what we'll, You'll yeah, likely be going about quarter to seven. Yeah, 6.30, 6.45. So uh, do yourself a favor. Hit that subscribe button on the YouTube channel. Uh, hit that notification bell. Because like this, when we just go live, I we just not, we just notified everybody that hits that bell to uh, check us out. So it means a whole lot to us. So What the hell is that? <laughs> I don't know what is going on. My wife is doing something weird. <laughs> <laughs> that. My we'll, we'll we'll wrap it up um but uh oh keep, new oh, new go. pucknologists uh this sunday so first one of the season yep uh sunday 7 p.m sunday at 7 uh we're gonna talk about uh how the sharks rolled over uh the, their first five games we'll talk about the home opener some of the things that occurred there uh, we're going to have some fun with Max Kellerman. Uh, <laughs> we, let's just say we have some video. Uh, the, but some news came out of uh, opening night that we'll get into. Of course, we'll get into our stats and the module. Uh, some stuff around uh, the league with ESPN and TNT. Uh, there will be a little bit of Jersey talk. And uh, we're also going to talk about some former Sharks, like... Uh, Donato scoring the first one for the Kraken, Tierney off to a hard start, and uh, Barracuda and prospecting. Uh, we have one more thing. We thought we were getting out of here. Uh, no, and Brandon comment? Tucker, uh, Who? thank you for the heads up. Uh, but <laughs> no. from KTVU, uh, the headline oh. from, on their website, San Jose Sharks Evander Kane suspended for submitting fake COVID vaccine card. This report comes out of the AP. Uh, the NHL suspended Sharks forward Evander Kane for 21 games for submitting a fake COVID-19 vaccination card. Uh, the league announced that suspension without pay on Monday said Kane will not be eligible to return until November 30th at New Jersey. Kane will forfeit $1.68 million of his $7 million, uh, $7 million salary for the season. Um, the league announced that the concurrent, you know, the the uh, concurrent investigation to allegations of sexual and physical abuse made by Kane and his estranged wife Anna cannot be substantiated. Hmm. So, um, and that and that report does come from the Associated Press. So, <laughs> yeah. Last time I looked, a uh, pretty solid reputation when it comes to reporting. Um. All right. So if that's the deal, uh. I, I think I'm betting now. Um, he, he's I, – I don't think he plays for the Sharks again. Yeah, if that's the case, that is um, – that's big. And uh, and honestly, considering how this area has, it has uh, taken on the COVID restrictions so seriously um, – I mean, one of the first ones to shut it down and one of the last ones to open it all back up. So, all right. Well, now that we've seen that, that it is, in fact, a fake Vax card. Again, what did I say earlier? 
the fact that the NHL PA, st- or, you know, that statement, the initial statement, neither confirmed or denied. What did I say? I go, it's pretty much confirmation, you know. And that is from the Associated Press. Uh, Brandon, thank you for giving us a heads up on that. But yeah, just looking, just looking at the, uh, you know, went to KTVU as you said, and then I just double checked it with with the actual AP News website, and it's word for word for what they got. So. Well, AP is saying it's a fake vax card. Well, if it's a fake vax card, he submitted it. Then the question to me is, why has he not been charged? Yeah, that's you know that's uh, unless uh, AP is inaccurate on that part. So we'll and, see what happens there. I mean, and maybe the rules are different. Like if you try to submit a fake vax card to get into SAP Center. I don't think that is a violation of anything. Like, I think that they're just going to look at it and go, no, that's a fake card. Can't come in. But like, if you try to use one to like get on an airplane, federal violation, you know, if you're selling them federal violation. So we have to see how the NHL PA. And again, this is something that we need to get into with hockey jerk. Who's really dove into contracts and, and all the, uh, the, the CBA. That's the whole thing. It, this is what I'll end with. Google the CBA. Encourage, as Hockey Jerk says, I encourage everyone to read it. But there is, the, if I remember correctly, if you go and Google the CBA, search COVID, there's only a few mentions of it. But there is a mention of it. Go play around on the CBA. See if you can figure out what the San Jose lawyers have not yet. <laughs> so we will see. Um we will see how that goes. Uh, it, in this this story, this chapter is done, but uh, there's a lot more till the end of the story. So, uh, and uh, Brandon, thanks for uh, for throwing that up about the KTV. Thanks for the heads up, buddy. Yeah, don't don't think I double checked the AP just in case. Um, yeah, they got a little inaccurate, like the. Uh, like that plane incident. <laughs> and, and as with all Sharks uh, news, you can uh, look forward to reading this about three days from now on NBCSN California. Because <laughs> that's just how late they are. All right, everybody. Uh, uh, Puck guy 14 AJ underscore strong on the social. Tomorrow, following Montreal and the Sharks, we will see you then for Teal Town USA After Dark. And Jesus Christ, now Ruzanowski. I want to sign off, but people keep hitting us. Uh oh. What do we got going on? Oh, oh, okay. For those of you who didn't know, Tristan Robbins is the player of the week. Okay. Good night, everybody. (laughs)